So let's talk about the Illini, or as I like to call them, the Kansas Jayhawks of the Big Ten. Why? Because they seldom win games. Duh. <laughs> Last season, the Illini only amassed 15 points per game. And that was only 127th in the country, almost dead last amongst FBS schools. So no wonder Levy Smith made a big change, at least offensively, by firing Derek McGee and bringing in Rod Smith, who says that one of the goals for this Atlanta offense is to spread the opposing defense out because you will see Illinois run a spread-type offense, maybe increasing their opportunities for first downs and touchdowns. And we'll see how that works out. They'll be running various formations. So. Am I for it? Hey, I'm, I'm for anything where a team is as bad as Illinois' offense was a year ago. So who's going to play QB? Who knows? Cam Thomas in limited action last year only completed 28 out of 66 passes and no touchdowns, five interceptions. If you keep a score at home, that's pathetic. <laughs> or you can bring in A.J. Bush, the former Nebraska and Virginia Tech quarterback who's transferred to Champaign. As far as receivers, uh, you do have the luxury of returning Ricky Smalling, and if he can stay healthy, uh, Mike Dudek can make a contribution, but he's had at least a couple of devastating injuries in his collegiate career. Offensive line-wise, you return everybody, but the thing I'm interested in the most, will this new offense under Rod Smith be the answer? You have to play the wait-and-see game on that. Defensively, um, all you had to do last year was just run the ball against Illinois, and that was good enough. Last season, the Illini were 117th against the run, they gave up almost 220 yards per game. That was just on the ground alone. So we'll see if Bobby Roundtree has made any progression at all. Last season, as a freshman, he did amass three sacks. The secondary is probably the one bright spot in this team. If you look at either side of the ball, uh, they actually rank 34th in the country in terms of pass defense. But keep in mind, too, that a lot of teams decided to attack Illinois because they could on the ground. Okay, So when you're running with ease against Illinois, you don't have to throw the ball as often, but don't get me wrong. The Illinois secondary can lay a hit on you, and they do have the luxury of returning back uh, Bennett Williams, who last year um, as a uh, freshman was a big contributor, had three interceptions. In terms of the schedule for Illinois, at least they don't leave the state of Illinois in the month of September. Three home games, including a game in Chicago against South Florida. The Big Ten opener is at home in late September against Penn State. Yeah, thanks for playing. Good luck. Early October, though, at Rutgers, might be Illinois' only conference win. And I see Illinois being significant underdogs the rest of the schedule. Levy Smith still has four years to go in his contract. But unless notable progression has been made, remember, contracts are meant to be bought out. And I wouldn't be surprised if that were the case at the end of the season. Illinois, duh, dead last in the Big Ten West. Wow, it's the sport of game.